Welcome back, Paranormal Geeks. This is Geeked Up Paranormal. My name is Brandon. How are you doing today? start today's video, I got something on my chest. I'm at 99 subs, but the devil ain't one. Hit me. Alright, get me to 100 subs, please. I'll agree. One more, one more away. Let's hit that hundo. So everybody can do it. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button right here. So, that's not really that, it's not showing me anything. But, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. It's lit here. We make paranormal videos. I got some of the ideas I'm about to I'm about to be I'm about to be just putting them out. Not the ideas, but the videos. <laughs> when I get to hundred subscribers, I'm gonna probably do a little celebration uh, stream. So in today's video, we're gonna do an equipment explanation video. Um, pretty much what I do with these kinds of videos is I pick a piece of equipment out that I own and use and pretty much I go over the equipment. Um, tell people how to use it, tell people how uh, it works, you know, pretty much explain the equipment better for people so they can use it better during an uh, investigation so they don't know how to work it. Alright, this is a SLS camera. So, what does SLS stand for? SLS stands for Structure Light Sensor. So, yes, this is a old... I forgot what, it, what it's called, but it's, uh, it's an Xbox 360. It'll help you play IRL. So, this shoots off the structured light sensors, so a whole bunch of sensors it shoots out, like in things of light, and once that beam, or those beams get broken, somebody's in front of it, it'll show them the stick thing. The spirit's passing by, or if the spirit's standing there, it will show them as the shape, as a stick figure, or whatever shape that they are in. Um, I'm gonna be playing video to show you and go over it, go over it more with you, and uh, do's and don'ts as well. So that's what films it all. So that's the power bank to power this, and then we hook this into the tablet. So it's the tablet. Um, it's got. If you look at the bottom right there. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, tablet. Put it up there. Alright. The third one over. That's the screen, screen recorder. And if you go the next one over, that is the software. Now, you can either buy these, like pretty much pre built, which I did with this one, or you can pre build one, which I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, yes, I'm going to be having two of these eventually. One's going to be thermal, one's not. Uh, this one's not thermal. Um, so, pretty much what you do is, um, first, I ain't going to do it on this. Um, you want to do a screen record, so you tap on that, pop it up, adjust it, and then you tap on the uh, SLS app, pop it up. It'll check, make sure everything's running and on and working properly, and uh, then pretty much that will start the SLS session. Um, then you hit record on your screen recorder uh, software, and it'll start screen recording the tablet. So therefore, you have the SLS, the SLS session recorded. 
Now, this this uh, SLS does not have audio. It does not record audio. Um, I don't know if there's any that do, but I know there's a way that you can do it. It's not hard. Um, hook a mic up, go to your settings, mess around, and it'll be done. It's not something I want to do because, I mean, I don't want to put audio on this as uh, These three clips are from a haunted doll investigation. The first entity pops up near the camera as if it was filming. Also at that time, the battery drained from 89% all the way down to 10%, which leads me to believe it was not a false mapping. In the second and third clip, the spirit turns up laying down on the table attached to the doll. The reason why I believe it's not another false map is because of the spirit box responses I received at that time as well as I've never got a map on another doll until this day. In this clip you will see as the camera moves around you will see my figure move around and on and off of my body as well you will see it go on to the door and onto the ceiling as the camera is moving it causes a false mapping when the camera moves around you can see right here as i feel my wife moving the camera back and forth and as her moving that it is the camera moving not staying still causing the false mapping as you see her stick figure move on and off of her body. You will see here in this next clip as George stands too close to the camera it will uh, create a false mapping as the stick figure will move off to the side. If you see how he moves around the stick figure moves just like he does so that's actually his stick figure in this video but it's a false mapping because he's standing too close in front of the camera and into the uh, sensors so it's moving this stick figure off to the side in this next clip you'll see me walk up towards the door and as I get close to the door my stick figure jumps off to the side of me which creates a false mapping again so in this clip right here you will actually see how the SLS camera actually maps someone out as it shows their feet and their hands and their head and how it maps their full body out. And in this next clip, you will see as I bend down that the stick figure kind of bends down with me and then goes on to another object. It's still my stick figure. It kind of creates a false mapping. But as you see here, when I stand uh, back up, you'll see it slowly come back to being mapping my body out. So as you see in this clip right here, I am mapped out and a figure maps out onto the window blind. But I thought this was a false mapping at first until it started moving up the wall and then transforming its shape from when it goes from the window to sitting on the couch. As you can see right here, it starts to change shape and form and move over from the window onto the couch and as I walk around the room it touches me so this is why and I kind of felt it so this is why I don't believe that it's a false map and that it's actual spirit and then you'll see the spirit that is on the couch right now or I should say chair um, is not a false map as it does leave and come back and as I move around it it stays there and it changes forms multiple times while we are trying to communicate with this spirit.
like this SLS structure light sensor camera uh, explanation video. If you'd like to see more explanation videos on different type of ITC paranormal devices, comment it down below. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I upload again. And I would like to say, during the filming and editing of this video, we hit 100 subscribers. We are officially at 103 subscribers. We beat it up. The 100 subscriber mark by three. Um, so at the beginning of this video, I kind of tweeted out, hey, I'm at 99 subscribers, you know, uh, but the devil ain't one. Uh, I'm on the road to 100. Well, no longer am I on the road to 100. We hit the 100 subscriber mark and beat it by three. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to my channel. Uh, I highly appreciate that y'all subscribe. Uh, appreciate that y'all watch the videos and comment and like them and share them out uh thank you for everything uh i'm very appreciative i'm very uh, excited um uh, i don't know how to uh i guess thank y'all um but thank you uh it really does mean a lot to me that you subscribe watch like share comment uh, love the interaction with y'all. Uh, I don't know. I'm just very excited that I uh, got 100 subscribers. I didn't think I would ever have that much. So thank y'all. So I would like to say I tweeted that out. And my 100 subscriber subscribed to me after I tweeted that out. Her name is Brandy. Thank you, Brandy, for being the 100 subscriber. Uh, you're awesome. And she tweeted me. You just hit 100 YouTube subscribers. I am the 100th. So thank you, Brandy, for being the 100th subscriber to my YouTube channel. And just thank you. Uh, this is um, really flabbergasted. Don't know what to say. I'm excited. Uh, don't know how to thank you guys. I'm probably going to do a live stream um, kind of celebrating it, but doing an investigation. That will more likely be this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, I can't say for sure what day, whether it be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It all depends on the weather, as the weather right now is rainy and stormy. And um, there's a special couple locations I would like to do the live investigation at also, but I won't have the signal. So we are going to try and do it at a place where we'll get – we'll have – good signal to live stream to y'all uh, the investigation and thank y'all so much for uh, subscribing to this channel make sure you turn on the post notification so you know when I upload again but I'm pretty sure if you subscribe to me you already know I ain't scared I'll go anywhere I'll put the pair in paranormal R.I. Peace